is a four day week because yesterday was a holiday and today we have to deal with like this flooded basement and the plumbing and the mess. Unwelcome distractions is what these are. I would say that going for a run in the pouring rain in the middle of February is not a good way to get over being sick. This morning it wasn't freezing so I figured I'll go for a little jog. It starts pouring out like six miles out. Look at this. Drenched. I feel terrible. I need like sun or a beach just to get away. Look at this mush. Just nasty gray mush. All right, it's Tuesday. So you got people like Jack and all these other employees around you. What do you? What are your hopes for them? Do you want them to be like you and go on to create bigger and better things, or do you want them to stay at your organization? Are you on an airplane? I have had the pleasure of working with or hiring like quite a few, probably like 50 different employees in my entire career. And what I always say when I hire someone is, if you're still working for me in two years, you're doing something wrong. Meaning you should have taken everything there is to learn from this position and moved on by now within two years. So when it comes to someone like Jack, you know, he worked for me for like a year and a half and then we started Beam and he moved into like a very serious role there. I really wanted to do a normal Q&A today, but this question's too good. I have to dive into it and explain. Okay, sorry about this. I try not to get distracted, but I get distracted. This is too good of a question for me to not properly answer. Bear with me here, okay? You got your x-axis here, you got your y-axis here. These are the jobs you have in life. And here on your y-axis, you got your skills, your education, your experience, your value. And then this, this is you. Here's your first job. Maybe it's at McDonald's, maybe it's at Burger King, maybe you're washing dishes, but you do gain skills, education, and experience. Your value increases. Now the minute you're no longer going up, the minute your trajectory starts to plateau, you have to move on to job number two. And job number two should increase your value. When you've expired this job, you find job number three. The moment you stop going up and you start to go like this in any one job, and this gap gets big here, that's when it's time to change things. This plateau, which is comfort, when you're doing the same thing day in and day out of your job, is when your value starts to atrophy. If it's not going up, it's actually going down. Because the rest of the world just keeps moving. This is the only trajectory to do in any career. Now, this doesn't mean you have to be quitting your job every six months. This doesn't mean anything like that. But at your job, you should always be asking yourself, am I learning new things? Am I increasing my value? And if the answer is no, work harder and find that opportunity or maybe find a new job. So Jack's a really good example of this. Yeah, he's been with me for a long time, but he's never moved laterally. His value is always going up. This is true for every job I've ever had. When I was washing dishes, I was learning how to cook. And before I left that job in the restaurant, I was a line cook. I wasn't just a dishwasher. Every job I've had in my entire career as like an orange. And the minute there's no more juice to be squeezed from that orange, I let it go and I move on. There's lens dirty. All that rain and snow. I don't use lens caps, that's better, yeah? What's your best piece of advice for keeping yourself motivated on those days when you can't even? Well, I don't really believe in that crap. You know, it's like to sit around and say, I'm not motivated so I can't do anything. To me, it's the same thing as sitting around being like, I'm so hungry, I can't eat. The only way you're gonna alleviate your hunger is to eat some food. The only way to fix your motivation problem is to do something. Thanks for the question, Owen. This company sent me these cigarettes that aren't cigarettes to help you quit smoking. I don't smoke and I don't need to quit smoking, but thank you, I'll find somebody to give those to. Hey Casey, as somebody who takes a lot of trips and talks to a lot of people, 
Are you ever afraid of finding a state of repetitiveness or do you feel confident in your ability to- No, I don't feel confident. I feel like I repeat myself every week when I do these Q and A's. Definitely feel repetitive in a lot of the stuff that I do. But, but vlogging has taught me that like life is nothing but like a series of actions over and over and over and over. So if the idea of this vlog or vlogging in general is to share my life with you, then there's gonna be repetition in there. So I don't feel insecure about it, but I, Chris, this is very repetitive. <coughs> oh man. Uh. Hi Casey, since I'm working at a donut slash frozen yogurt shop, I wanted to ask you, what's your favorite candy? I have a dentist appointment in an hour and 20 minutes from eating so much candy. My favorite candy is probably Reese's peanut butter cups. I've never been super fond of drugs, not a big drinker, I don't party much. I have like no addictions in life, but candy. Okay, last question. Uh, Scotty asks, are you going to VidCon this summer? Scotty, yes I am. The question is, are you coming to VidCon? You know, I have to say, VidCon for the uninitiated is like a gigantic get together of all the YouTubers and everything else. I have to say, I was very skeptical of VidCon last year. Like, I really wasn't sure what to expect. But I was so blown away by what an amazing event it was. I cannot wait to go back this summer. Like, I want to do something amazing there. Not just like a meetup or a meet and greet. I want to do something really incredible. What should it be? Thank you, love, Riley. Thank you, Riley, for this lovely letter. And whatever's in this lovely little package. Thanks, Riley. Dear Casey, I like your videos and the style of your vlogs. Best of luck, Ole. Ole, thank you for all this candy. If I wasn't going to the dentist this afternoon. <coughs> My plan to eat no sugar has been going so-so. I totally fell off the wagon yesterday and ate so much candy. But besides that, I'm like eight days no candy, minus yesterday. So I'm one day no, I'm going to the dentist right now, very nervous. This is not gonna go well at all. Open wide and let me see your teeth. It's night time, I'm going home. I feel like 2% better, but not 100% better, but not good enough to keep vlogging, so that's it. I have to stop eating sugar.